Everyone make a face. Ugh. That's the intro. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, nation? I'm here with Hybrid Physiques. If you guys haven't checked them out yet, be sure to click the link in the info section below, or you can click this link right here, this annotation. These guys came all the way up from Connecticut here to join me in a workout. I'm super psyched. We were trying to get a workout in last week, but in case you haven't been keeping up with the East Coast, we got hit with about 32 inches of snow. So <laughs> and a little snow. I mean, they they were like, "We'll come." You know? I mean, I'll do it. We'll, we're ready. I'll do it. We'll just shovel in front of a car. We'll, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> Unfortunately. Where we were, we only got about four to five, and you got what? Dude, we, like, yeah, they over get, two feet. Yeah, <laughs> twenty-four he, inches. Justin texted me. He's like, "It, it stopped snowing, so we're good for tomorrow, right?" I look outside. <laughs> the snow is like literally this high. I'm like, "Um, it's a little different up <laughs> yeah, here." Yeah, maybe next week. But <laughs> you know what? Show. It actually it spawned um, an at-home training video that these two did. I'll put a, a link to that over here. So make sure you go to their channel and check it out if you're training at home, looking for some body weight movements. You guys did all upper body. You did a booty blaster circuit oh, yeah. for the legs. Little abdominals. Yeah, and then finished up with abs. It was a really good routine, so make sure you check it out. But today, we're gonna be taking things to a whole new level. <laughs> we're gonna be doing some heavy deadlifts, some heavy squats, and then we're gonna be doing some isolation work, hitting quads, hitting the glutes, hitting the hamstrings. You guys ready for this? I'm jacked up right. over here. I'm ready to get swole. He's, <laughs> you're so swole, you're going out of frame. I'm like, so pumped. It's, it's ridiculous. I'm so pumped. <laughs> I'm ready to do this. All right, so guys, stay tuned. If you want to see all the exercises and the routine, be sure to look down the info section below or just stay tuned for that intro card. So what do you guys like to do for like for warm ups before? I mean, a warm up with like 500 pounds. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what, that's what I do. Um, I mean that's easy. Usually on my way into the gym, I'll just lift the car a couple times. I usually go with like 20 reps. Usually a single plate. My my joints tend to ice over, and it takes me a little bit to get my rhythm. Very important with this to concentrate on your breathing. It's very easy to end up holding your breath during a deadlift. You need to breathe out as you're coming up, otherwise you end up. Passing out. Exactly. Quick. Even the preparation for the deadlift as well. Right when you're about to actually physically lift the weight, you're gonna take a big deep breath in and you're gonna hold that breath. As you're approaching the bar, that internal pressure is gonna protect your spine from doing any damage. Any rounding of the back, that big deep breath in keeps your spine straight. And these are key points that I talk about all the time whenever I put out a deadlifting video. So make sure you really focus on getting all those down during your entire warm up. Now that we've done the warm up, we're right into the working sets. We're doing six sets. I'm gonna start at 12 and go 12, 10, 8, 6, 3, 1. Now that one rep's not gonna be your PR, you're not gonna max out on that one rep, but you do wanna make sure you're getting kinda close, you want it to be hard, you wanna really push yourself, get used to lifting heavier weight. Now just because we're starting off with 12 repetitions, doing 275 pounds, you guys don't want to treat this as a light set. You still want to put on decent weight for those 12 repetitions, but understand that the whole reason why we're doing this reverse pyramid is to make sure we're getting a lot of volume into the workout, which is going to help promote muscle growth, but we want you guys to be building strength as well. So you're going to be loading on the weight as the reps progress. Just maintain proper form as much as possible. Do I look as big as him when I'm deadlifting? When I'm from the front like this? <laughs> you know, it's hard not to look big while deadlifting. <laughs> He's like the, that pit bull look. I'm like the, like my dog, the Maltese look. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to set two, we bumped it up to 315 pounds for 10 repetitions. And you guys will notice that we're doing a dead stop in between all the reps. I've completely gone away from bouncing the weight off the ground. If I want to improve my overall strength and power, I'm going to need to pick that weight up as many times as I can from a dead stop. Because the bounce does help and you guys are right. And I wanted to let you know that I do listen to you and I want to improve my deadlift. That looks like you go a little tighter. Yeah. If you're going to put that belt on. And a quick little tip if you want to look like you have that wide back in the gym, crank it down because from the back your lats look three times bigger. <laughs> Restricting the, the fluid motion of the flag. I think it's against the law. I think so. It's a felony. <laughs> Set three, 365. As you guys can see, Justin's now using his belt. 
he actually had an injury, and this is his first time really, really lifting heavy in a while. And I was really impressed with him because he was a little worried about his back and how it would how it would last throughout the entire workout. But that's what a belt's for. I mean, you obviously, he didn't use the belt on the first two sets. He's trying to improve his internal belt on his own. But it gets to a point where you do need a belt, but you can always wean off of it as you get stronger as well. Moving on to set four, 405, six repetitions. Again, even though the weight's still getting heavier, we're doing that dead stop in between every single rep. I'm at a crossroads of how tight to put this because I don't explode. <laughs> You can't trust it. <laughs> it's gonna be a fart stop. <laughs> but now turn around and show how wide that back looks now. Oh, so oh. small. Because I'm deadlifting two to three times a week, I am starting to use my belt more often once I hit about 405 pounds. I feel like if I toss my belt on at this point, it gives me enough time to continue to work on my internal belt on my own and then save my back for heavier lifts. That was sweet. You have no sticking points. Yeah. You just kind of. When I think you're going to stick, you're, it's just continuous motion. What do you attribute to that? I, you know, a lot of it is, you know, we talk a lot about setting up and I'm trying my best to get as low as possible. I feel like when I, when I, whenever I do stick, hold on, Whew, okay. whenever I do stick, it's because when I'm inside these reps, when I start to fatigue, obviously like your lower back is going to be way weaker than your legs and a lot of us when we start to fatigue, we'll drop the bar and because our legs are starting to get tired, you know, it's hard to go this low because your legs are tired, your quads want to give up. So when we drop the weight here and keep our hips high because our legs are fatiguing and then try to pull again, you're pulling from up here, you're putting a lot of pressure in your lower back. But if you stop and take a second, stand up if you have to, and then get nice and low again, you can focus on pushing through your legs and get rid of that sticking point. What socks are you wearing right now? They're Under Armour? They're Aquaman socks. Where are they? Shut up, they're Under Armour. Aquaman makes, un makes Under Armour? Back off, Jackson. <laughs> As you guys can see, you know, we had a lot of fun making this video. We trained pretty hard, we lifted some super heavy weight, but that doesn't mean you guys can't joke around and have fun. I mean, it's a serious sport. Obviously, when you're lifting heavy weight, you have to be pretty serious about it. But there's no reason why you guys can't talk and laugh and get some good energy going around. And that's what I like best about Justin and Nick. Just fun guys to hang out with and lift. Extremely good lifting partners. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw tents on. I got these um, .5 pound weights right here you can use. <laughs> oh, put that on, Levy. There you go. <laughs> I don't know if I can do two of them, though. <laughs> we want to make sure that we're progressing. We're going from six reps to three reps here. So Justin wants to make sure he's going up in weight. He crushed that last set. He pushed it all the way through. And now he's going to finish up uh, the fifth set with some tens. And then he'll go up a little higher on the last set, too. We're, we all are going to progress. 405 went a lot better than I thought it was and you did that for one yeah in a previous video ago. that was my PR I, I got it for one but barely so getting it for five that's awesome so man get a new PR did you make a PR in the SHF studios oh yeah nice he PR'd his PR that's my is shot. that the flying eagle American eagle oh yeah the ball a bald eagle right, me, <laughs> I want to see a backflip to a deadlift I got to admit, when Nick said do a backflip and then go into deadlifts, I was thought I was like, oh, that sounds cool. And then he actually did it, and I was quite impressed. I'm sure you guys were too. I wasn't expecting Justin to nail that. Moving on to set five, 425 pounds, three repetitions. And I thought it'd be important from this point on to see all the reps so you guys can see the intensity. That's all I got. I almost uh, relieved my bowels. <laughs> Come on, man. A, a backflip followed by two deadlifts and a big turn on my floor would be the best video ever. What I like best about this part of the video was to see Justin's determination to do his best to get that last final rep. Get low. Look, I want you to look at your look at your heels and push through your feet. You got this one. You got this, man. I can't move it. I can't even move Take in a breath. You got this, man. You got this. One more. That's it. Hey, man. That was still pretty awesome. 
Now, even though Justin wasn't able to get his third repetition, you guys have to remember that that was a PR for him. So for him to do two reps of his new PR, that's absolutely amazing. And I bet he could have got that third one maybe if he didn't do that backflip. But the backflip was pretty sweet. <laughs> And so I hit my three reps with pretty good form. And now Nick's moving on to his 425 for three reps. And as you can see, he likes to use a, a technique where you actually kind of roll the bar back and then get into the lift. Everyone's different. Everyone has their way. They like to get themselves set up. And if this for you helps you mentally get in the zone to lift the weight, then that's okay. Do it. As long as the form looks good as you're bringing the weight up and putting it down, I really don't care how you get into position. How'd you feel after that set? Almost went to sleep again. <laughs> I feel good now. When you deadlift the weight, what I find works too, like try letting out just a little bit of air, like a slow hiss. Because if you let out too much, you deflate your core. If you don't let out any, when you get like, as you start to lift the weight and everything really tightens up, then that's where you might start to feel like you're gonna pass out. I'm gonna exaggerate the noise, but I'm gonna hold my breath here. And as soon as I get to here, this is where I start to feel a lot of pressure in my core, so I'll be like, and then kind of come up a little bit. And then once you get past your knees, most of the pressure's kind of gone out of here. Well, I mean, it's still a lot of pressure, but oh, like the, the extreme pressure is gone. So you know, only from here to here, I might let out a little bit of breath because that's when I'm feeling the, the most amount of pressure from the pole. But like I said, if you let out too much air, then you're gonna deflate and your core is gonna crumble. So you gotta be careful. Now we're moving on to the sixth and final set, 435 pounds for one rep. And this is gonna be a new PR for Justin. Oh, you have it. I can see it. I can see it. Come on. All right, this is going up. You got it, man. Bring it from six to midnight. Let's go. You got it. You got it. I can see it. I can see the bar about to go up, man. When it comes down to it, you've got to finish your set. If, maybe if you can't right away, I like to back away. Maybe five, six deep breaths then get right back to it. Always, if you have a target rep range, if you don't hit it, take a quick break, but make sure you hit that target ah! rep range. Come on, get it. Nice. Oh. How'd that feel? I felt everything from here. Start coming up. Oh, nice. <laughs> this photo, <laughs> I couldn't get a clear shot because he was shaking, but I got him. Oh. Look at that. Bam. That hurt my esophagus. Now I know it wasn't a full lockout on Justin's lift, but I mean I'm pretty sure he would have had it if he didn't feel like he was going to puke everywhere. It, I mean I'm kind of glad he did it. It would have been a, a pain in the butt to clean up off the floor, but clearly he had the bar over his knee. All he had to do was that final little pull and he would have definitely got the full lockout. So I'm still going to give it to him. That felt really good. It looks pretty. And now we're moving on to Nick hitting that 455 and he just makes it look so easy. Thumbs up if you guys all hate Nick for making it look so easy. Now we're moving on to the next exercise, which is going to be squats. We're going to do four sets. Set one is going to be 12 repetitions, and we're going to work with 225 pounds. Now again, guys, you want to make sure that you're using weight that you can comfortably handle for those 12 reps. Don't make it too easy. You still obviously want it to be a challenge. But remember, we're doing that reverse pyramid style workout, so we're working on volume and strength and we're going to be hitting more weight as the reps progress, as the sets progress. So all the way up, all the way down, really focus on that proper form. Push your knees out, keep your chest up, butt to the ground, and push through your heels. Those are awesome reps. Um, that was some really good form. Have you noticed versus Justin's, I always squat high bar. Me too. Everything is different to everyone's body. Like Scott just said, I always squat high bar, which is what works best for my hips and my motion. His frame is perfect for that squat. I mean, that was textbook up and down. Thank you. I would, I mean, kick those shoes off and it would probably be, it can't get better, but even with those shoes off, I bet it would look better because they look a little squishy. They are, they're a little high on the heel. I normally lift in converse. But yeah. They hurt that was, my feet after a little bit. Those are some good squats. So now with the breathing while you're doing squats, as you're at the top, taking that deep breath, tighten up your core, come down, Explode up at the top. That's when you're going to exhale. Get ready for your next rep. Taking a deep breath and do it all over again. With squats, especially when you're doing higher reps, it's try to push yourself and make it more intense by not trying to stop or pause too much between the reps. Like when you get to the top, and I show it in my face really good, but you guys can see when things are starting to burn, it's like 
you get to the top, and you're like, oh, that hurts so bad. And you just go down before you have a chance to tell yourself you're not gonna do it. And that's how you make those gains. Here we go with Nick finishing up set two, 245 pounds for 10 repetitions. And you can see this from the front, guys. Picture perfect form all the way down, all the way up. Chest is up, knees are pointed out. I mean, the form doesn't get better than this. If you guys are looking for tips, just rewatch Nick doing his squats. Essentially, when Justin's gonna about to do this lift, he's a little uneasy what kind of rep ranges he's gonna do. So all I'm gonna do is stand behind him. I'm gonna stabilize his core when he's actually unracking the bar to ease the process a little bit. I'm gonna follow, walk him back until he's in the proper squatting position, and then he's gonna continue his reps. If he's failing during these reps, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right under his armpits. I'm not gonna touch anywhere else, and I'm pushing directly up. Get right in there, all kinds of sweat on your hands. It is what it is. Stabilize your partner's core, give him a little assistance, and help him complete those reps. Some good tips there from Nick showing how to, how to spot. I know a lot of you guys ask about spotting, so I thought it would be great to leave all this in here so you can kind of get an idea of what you're supposed to do, especially when it comes to squats. I feel like a lot of people get a little nervous when they spot somebody on a heavy squat. I mean, we're using bumper plates, so at the end of the day, if you get stuck, you can just drop the weights in the ground. Just make sure your, your spotter gets out of the way so they don't get hit. So this is, we're moving on to the third set, 275 pounds for eight repetitions. And I wanted to start showing some of the repetitions towards the end of our set. So this is the last four reps for me. If you guys can see, the struggle is getting pretty real here. You can see all the veins and vascularity and the intensity in my face because the weight's getting pretty heavy. We're starting to get fatigued. And we're only doing 60 to 90 second rest periods between all these sets. So we're doing a pretty fast paced workout. And that's going to work to our advantage because the whole goal here is volume. The whole goal of this, yes, we're working on a bit of strength as we're increasing the weight, but we're trying to focus on gaining muscle as well. And so the way to gain muscle, at least for me, is to focus on high volume. Looking real good, man. Oh. Those reps looked awesome. Thank you, sir. It's because I've been watching your videos. Oh, yeah. It's, form. it's about time you said that. I didn't pay you for nothing. <laughs> Moving on to the final set, set four. Uh, Justin's taken up 295 pounds for four repetitions. As you can see, he's starting to fatigue a little bit because knees are coming in a little, but that's okay. He's got Nick there to help him out in case he needs it. Not a problem. Just keep that focus throughout the entire set. <laughs> in my head, I had no idea if I was going to get that. I had an idea that I wasn't, but... Had to still go for that four reps, and as you can see, everyone fails once in a while. Now on my fourth set, I did 315 pounds. My goal was to hit four repetitions as well, but I was actually able to get six out of this. I got to my fourth rep, and I felt like I had more in me. It's the last set of squats, so if you get to a point where you, you feel like you can do more, don't stop yourself because you hit the number you were trying to aim for. If you get on your last set and you hit your rep range and it's heavy weight and you feel like you can do a few more reps, you better do them because that's gains that you're just leaving on the table if you don't take them off. And as you can see on my last repetition here, the form was a little shaky, but I was still able to get it and I felt good about it. Nice lift. Might as well, if you're there, might as well go for it. Thanks for the encouragement. That's intensity. Nick decided to hit six repetitions on his last set as well. Him and I were keeping up pretty much neck to neck the whole workout. And it was great because Justin was pushing himself hard to hit new PRs, trying to keep with us in the deadlifts. And then for me and Nick, it was a nice, nice friendly little competition of making sure we were pushing our, each other and lifting as heavy as possible and hitting those rep ranges. So overall, it was a really good workout. These guys are perfect lifting partners for me. Moving on to Romanian deadlifts. We're doing four sets, eight reps. Now you guys want to make sure you're really feeling that deep stretch in your hamstring. That's why I'm going slow on the way down and even pausing for a brief moment. So all the way down about mid shin, then back up. Now at the top of my movement, I also like to pinch my glutes as tight as possible to activate those. At the bottom, I feel mostly my hamstrings, not too much at, top, at the top. So when I get up top, push my hips forward and really flex them. For the lady Hermanites out there, you know, a lot of girls like using this exercise because 
it's gonna hit the hamstrings and the glutes. So it's gonna tighten up your butt right in that area. Girls are trying to get that like high butt look. This is an exercise that's gonna hit that whole area. It's gonna really help. Now, if any of you guys are having a hard time with form on this exercise, I'll put an annotation link in the top right-hand corner. But for these exercises, we're just sticking with four sets, eight repetitions apiece, and we pretty much used the same weight. We used 225. We kept the rest period super short. We actually just kind of went through these one after another, so maybe like a 60-second rest period max. The next exercise is the Bulgarian split squat. You're doing four sets, 10 reps per side. I'm working with 45 pound dumbbells. And you wanna make sure here that your foot isn't too far forward. The further out your foot is, the more you're activating your glutes. So you wanna try to keep it tight and try to keep your knee over your ankle throughout the entire set. Explode! At the bottom of that movement, um, the only reason why I'm resting or stopping at the bottom is to make sure that I'm not doing this. And if I am, I'll get to the bottom of the movement, slide back a little, get a little deeper, and then really push through my heel and just shred my quad as much as possible. Justin's up next, 30 pound dumbbells, and again, you're doing four sets, 10 reps per side. Take in a breath, keep your chest up as high as you can, and try to stay as vertical as possible with your upper body, you're doing great. Oh, much better. That was beautiful. Try bringing your foot a little further forward and then sit back as close as you can to the bench on the way down. Oh yeah, you felt that one. Nice. Hey man, that's not easy to do after all the things we've been doing. No, the, uh, a huge factor in this I noticed too is keeping your balance on point. <laughs> We got Nick wrapping it up right here. Again, four sets, 10 reps per side, making sure you're going all the way down and all the way up. And this is a really good exercise to bring out imbalances you might have in your legs. You might find that one leg is much harder than the other when doing this exercise. It's good, I felt a lot of pressure on my quads. The deep stretch going into it, I got glute and hamstring, which was nice. Obviously the explosion, the extension at the top, activated my quad with that deep stretch at the finish. Great exercise. So on this exercise, you're going for hip explosiveness. This is gonna help you a lot with that follow through on your squats and on your deadlifts. And if you're, if you're gonna do it with just the bar, you can put a pad on there too. You'll notice after each rep, I'm laying like this. There's a few different things that I do to prepare for each rep because if there's any slap between that bar and your upper thigh, it's gonna hurt a lot. I mean, it's still obviously gonna hurt, if you're not used to doing this, but you'll notice after the rep, you know, I bring the weight back down, maybe my feet slid forward a little bit, resetting my foot after each rep, taking that bar, I roll it back, and I push it into my thigh as high as I can. My shoulder blades are retracted, and what I'm doing is I'm getting my body as tightly compact as possible, pushing the bar as hard as I can, then you're gonna take in a deep breath, push to the top, and you have to make sure that you don't stop here and go back down. You have to go all the way up and flex those glutes and get that hip hyperextension. That's what we're looking for here. I know a lot of you guys don't like doing this exercise because you think it looks silly. When you're not in the gym to care what people think, you're there to make gains and improve your lifts. I, got a, I also got a nice tight pinch in my glutes too, or uh, hamstrings. I did notice if you don't keep that tension on that bar, it starts sliding down and it starts to force your hips back down. So keeping it into, pushing it into your quads is very important. So this was Nick's first time really incorporating the glute bridge into his workout. So Nick, what did you think of this? Nice contraction of my hamstrings. Nice contraction of my glutes. It's an excellent exercise. Damn guys, that was an awesome workout. Sweet workout. Freaking amazing work. <laughs> we had some reps to a failure. We had some backflips. We had some gas passing. We almost had some projectile vomiting. This workout has it all. Some heavy deadlifting. That was pretty good. What did you guys think of that, that was workout? Great. It was great. I learned a lot of new things today. I was happy with it. Hit a new PR. Also hit some failures, but it's all part of the building process. I think for you to PR on your deadlift and then fail on your squat is an accomplishment. 
because most people aren't gonna go for some heavy squatting after PRing a deadlift, period. That just means I'm that much closer to a PR and squat. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and that was great. You did a great job too. This is like the, the, the pit bull that never stops. You know, he's just, all the squats, you know, I mean, I hit 315 on my squat. He made it look a lot easier. I was just trying to keep up. He's just like, okay, I'm gonna lift. Up, down, up, down. Okay, I'm done, put the weight back. <laughs> that was good, man, you guys are strong. Walking into it like, oh man, I'm not ready for this, and then boom, just looks effortless. <laughs> yeah. It was a really good routine. Um, I really appreciate you guys coming all the way up here. I know it's a long drive. I'm hoping to see more from you guys. For those of you watching the video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you want to see more from Hybrid Physiques, be sure to check out their channel. I have a link probably somewhere up here. I'll have one down in the info section below. And if you want to see more from us, just let us know what you want in the comment section below, guys. So overall, we crushed it. Oh yeah. And we're gonna start practicing for a little uh, physique posing right now. So if you wanna see that video, make sure you stay tuned to check it out.